These days, automation is everywhere, and for good reason. There's truth to the saying, time is money, but automation also reduces the chance of human error. So if you're still manually forwarding your order emails to company departments and suppliers, it's probably time for an upgrade. Setting up efficient WooCommerce order notifications is essential for your business because customers expect quick and accurate updates on their products and suppliers need to know exactly what products to send out. So in this video, I'll guide you through the process of setting up order notifications via emails, SMS, and push notifications. In addition, you'll learn how to send the new order email to different people for different products by using a specially designed plugin from Barn2. So I hope you're ready to streamline your order management while providing a much better customer experience. Let's get started. First, I want to show you what the default setup looks like in WooCommerce. From your WordPress dashboard, go to WooCommerce, Settings, and Emails. Here, you can see which emails are being sent out and who they are addressed to. You can easily add as many email addresses as you like to each notification. To add multiple email recipients, just separate each address with a comma. The new order, cancel order, and failed order emails can all be sent to multiple addresses using this method. However, this method makes it so that every single new order email gets sent to every single address in the list. And there's no option for sending different emails to different addresses depending on which products are ordered. To achieve this functionality, you'll need to install the WooCommerce Multiple Email Recipients plugin from Barn2. To give you some idea of why this might be handy, ask yourself the following questions. Do you send order information to different suppliers who then send the products to the customer? Does your store route each order to a different vendor or distributor? Do you need to send conditional emails depending on the product, product group, or category of the order? If you answered yes, then you need to keep watching this tutorial because the multiple email recipients plugin can help you send different emails per product or category. And I'll show you how to set this up step by step. To continue with this tutorial, you need to download and install the WooCommerce Multiple Email Recipients plugin from Barn2, and I've linked it in the description of this video, which will take you to our website. Then after purchasing, you need to install it on your website. This is very easy to do. Just go to Plugins, Add New, and click Upload Plugin. Then drag and drop or attach the zip file that you downloaded from the purchase, and the rest will take care of itself. Then in the setup wizard, you can add your license key, which you would have got in the receipt email or by logging into your account on barn2.com. Then click activate and jump to the next step. Here, we can give the option for our logged in users to add more email addresses. Now, I'm not too worried about this setting for now. We'll get back to it later. For now, let's just skip ahead to the WooCommerce settings and click on emails. This is where we can see the plugins flexibility. It lets you choose whether to send different WooCommerce emails per product category or add suppliers to products directly. Now I want you to think about how your e-commerce store is structured. If your suppliers correspond to your product categories, you can set up a WooCommerce new order email notification for each supplier and select their product categories. For example, if a customer buys a hoodie, a WooCommerce order email is sent to the hoodie supplier. Alternatively, if there's no direct relationship between your suppliers and your product categories, then you'll need to add additional email recipients per product, which we can easily do right here in the settings of each different email. It's important to note that the plugin has advanced logic so that recipients will never miss an email that's relevant for them. For example, if you add additional email recipients, but don't select any products or categories, then these email addresses will receive the emails for all orders just like in the default WooCommerce settings. But if you have selected categories, then the email will be sent to additional recipients for all orders containing products from the selected categories. Alternatively, you have the option to select products, which will then send emails to those additional recipients for all the orders containing one or more of those products. And if you select both, it can include all relevant recipients at once. So take some time to go through each email and set it up however you'd like. Obviously, you know the structure of your store. You know which suppliers relate to which categories or products. I'm not here to tell you how to do that, but I'm just showing you that you have the option to. Now, let's talk about how to get order notifications sent to your phone. You can get new order status notifications sent to your phone using a variety of different methods. One popular option is the WooCommerce app, available for both iOS and Android. You can download the app and connect it to your WooCommerce store. Then enable push notifications 
for new order confirmation email alerts. You can also use third-party apps or services such as Zapier. These create custom workflows that can send new WooCommerce order notifications to your phone via SMS, email, or other messaging platforms. Before I forget, let's visit the settings page for the multiple email recipients plugin. And here we can change the number of email addresses that customers can choose to have emails sent to. You can even label them quite easily. For example, you could use the label billing department or something else like it. So that's pretty much it. Now you know how to effortlessly generate and customize WooCommerce order notifications to suit your specific requirements. Make sure to check out the links in the description for the plugin, as well as the written blog tutorial, which goes with this video. Now, if you have a lot of different suppliers and products, it's important to have a robust filter plugin, which is why I reviewed the top 10 filter plugins in this video here. Feel free to check that out next. And of course, thanks for watching.